Yes guys, welcome back to another video. We're back on the channel for the new season. Our season kicks off today, Sunday, two o'clock, away to Brentford. A lot has changed since my last video. Conte is out the door. We've got Ange Postacoglu coming in now. There's been quite a bit of transfer activity. Last minute drama yesterday, Kane signed for Bayern Munich. He's now gone. So we've not got that threat up front. So we could see Richarlison starting today. Looking at Brentford side, they've got no Ivan Tony, So they don't have that threat up front either. Looking at our captain now, Kane's gone. Hugo Lloris is going to be out the door. We've now got Hyung min Son leading the side out today. We've got James Madison, who we signed as a vice captain. Kuti Romero is also a vice captain. So there's been a lot of activity and there's a lot to talk about, but we're back. So let's get on with this video. We're heading up to Brentford and fingers crossed we can get these three points. I'm going to stay confident today. Hopefully we can kick off the season with three points. Go for a 2-1 score prediction. Let's hopefully we go up there, get a few goals. Come on, Spurs. First time this season we are back, we're in the Brentford Community Stadium and the team is now out. Obviously no Kane, which looks strange to see, but up front we're playing Kulazewski, Son, not Kane, it's Richarlison. Hopefully Richarlison goes out wide and we have Son in the middle. I think we'll get a lot more success that way. In front of the goal, I think Son's much more clinical than Richarlison is. We're playing Van der Ven at the back, Van der Ven and Romero next to each other. Picario in goal, the midfield's very strong with Basuma and Madison, so we've definitely stacked our team. Got our best team out today for the first game of the season. And I think it should be strong enough to get the three points. But let's see how we play. Hopefully a lot more attractive football with Postacudu being management. Come on, you Spurs. quite a few times and they could have scored maybe four or five goals they nearly even got one after we scored at the end of that first half so it's not all positive going into the second half but there are quite a few to look at looking at James Madison he's had two or three balls that were just perfect into the box we need to see more of that in this second half hopefully get Richardson's head onto it Romero done well to get that first goal in but he went off and Davison Sanchez came on for him 
straight after that goal. So I'm not sure if it's some sort of injury that he's picked up. Hopefully we can outscore them because this game definitely has more goals in it. And it's up for grabs for whatever team wants to score. And hopefully that starts because I really, really want to start off this season with three points. I'm going to stay confident. Hopefully we can get an early goal coming out of the gate. We square it all off, maybe a 3 2 win. I suppose. Oh, Sonny! Alright guys, full time in the Brentford Green Stadium and it ended 2-2. Not much action in the second half that materialised into a goal. I think today we were definitely the better team. We had way more chances than them. Brentford got a little bit lucky. The penalty decision was a bit lucky. I think they were very soft on time. But they gave it a penalty and they scored. Fair enough, they got the goal. There's a lot of takeaways from this game, quite a few positives. The Sumo in the midfield was fantastic. Madison alongside him was also really good. It's just a front of goal, we don't have much of a threat. We definitely need to work on that striker position. Hopefully we can sign someone for two or three weeks left in this window. So we definitely need to look into that. Much better though in the midfield, definitely. But there's still some things to work on at the back and in front of the goal. Big challenge next weekend at home to my